you know, we had control of the game throughout the whole game. It seemed like, you know, we were good in control. Uh, we're making good progress. Um, Cappy has a three ball to put us up 15. Doesn't go in. Angel makes a shot at the buzzer. Okay, up 10 going into quarter. I got to make some subs. Um, and our offense just kind of went flat. They made a good comeback, got back in the game. So now it's a dogfight. Uh, I, I thought that those that played today all made great contributions. I mean, across the board. Um, I mean, Alex didn't score or didn't shoot well, but she made a big play down the stretch. Ties up McCotry and wins the jump ball. Soup, make the shot, game over. Uh, Avery Worley, you know, won't show up big in the stat sheet, but she was a physical presence out there. First quarter, first half, she got all the offensive rebounds, kept us in there. So it was a good workman's job by all the players. I just wish it'd be a lot easier on me. Coach, even though Cappy had a tough shoot night, you had faith in her to call her shot and call her number at the end. Yeah, I was, well, it, Somebody asked me yesterday, um, uh, it was Roz. Roz asked me, he says, well, in the game, you know, when you think about going to Tina, and I said, I'd like to, but it, it's, it's hard to go to a, a, a post player. The guard has to have the ball in the hand to create. It's either a catch and shoot or the guard has to make a play. You really can't throw the ball into a post player for a last second because they can trap her, and then now there's no outlet pass. It takes too long to get the ball loose. So that's more difficult. So you have to go to a guard. She seems the logical choice. The other day when I was asking you about the Detroit swing, I wasn't necessarily talking about players, but it seems to be that the players are really um, getting very, very fierce and competitive. Well, Atlanta's a, a, a physical, chippy team. From Detroit. You know, they, they get in there and they, they'll, they'll bang with you and hammer you. Um, McCautry especially. She's very, they're a very physical basketball team. And I thought we stood up tonight. I know Avery was a big physical presence out there. But that's always a good physical presence. And I think Cash got in there and mixed it up tonight, too. Is Kathy closer to 100% now? I know no, no, no. She's not even, no. She, we worry every day if she's even going to play. Um, she has, not only does she have an Achilles issue that won't go away, it, just, it's, it is what it is. Some days are better than others. Uh, but then she had another injury a couple games ago that's still lingering and bothering her right now. She didn't practice for the last three days. What was that injury? What happened? Uh, she had a groin pull. Coach, what's it going to do for your team to beat the number one team in the East today? Uh, we, we, we match up. We talk about we match up well with Atlanta. Um, you know, we did last year. One two, you know, one two lost two last year with them. Now we're two one with them. Um, so they don't they don't bother us. I mean, Chicago gives us the fits, uh, but Atlanta doesn't. Um, for whatever reasons, we match up well. Um, you know, we talk about their potential first round playoff. You know, with us, and we want to make sure that we play them. We set the tone. And this is how we play, and we play good, hard, physical basketball, and try and take things away from them. Talk about uh, the fourth quarter. The team really seemed to fight, especially hard. Both teams. Uh, but yeah, talk well, about they, the fight we, your we team didn't had. play well offensively in the fourth quarter. Um, we were t our timing was off. We got caught with some non-scorers in the game, but I, ha I can't play everybody, you know, 20 minutes in a row at that pace. So we just had to muddle our way through. Um, fortunately, our, our defense carried us down the stretch. Even though they scored 20 points in the fourth quarter, I thought we made some big defensive plays in the last three minutes uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. Between now and the 29th, what will you be concentrating on? Um, well, next couple of days I'll be concentrating on fish. Uh, I'm going to try to catch some fish. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to eat the fish. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I, I'm going to take a look at, um, well, I'll watch video too, but I'll take a look at um, Got to find a way to, to get a couple more easier baskets uh, when we have our second team in there. I think that's going to be important for us uh, these next few games. Uh, but then I'm just preparing for the West Coast trip. I'm just going to, you know, we got LA, Seattle, and, and Phoenix out there. Three tough games. We're going to try to get some because right now we're right there now. Everybody's got 13 losses. So do we. Now we got to win some, and uh, hopefully we get some good wins on the road. Talk a little bit about the game tonight and what you feel the team was able to do well. Um, we just went out there defend, we went out and shared the ball. Oh, sorry, and uh, you know, have fun. Talk about the energy that was uh, felt. Do you feel that energy? Oh yes, from the kids, all the kids and the campers. Uh, yes, they was loud. They was into it. We was into it. 
um, just everybody on the same page. Now, I know it was sort of a battle uh, throughout, especially in that fourth quarter. Things were starting to sputter a little bit, but then you guys kept fighting. Uh, just talk about like, uh, what kept you guys in it. Um, you know, just staying together and then just being aggressive and running our sets and, you know, getting to our spots. And talk about your game a little bit. You had a lot of great shots, you know, driving to the hoop and stuff like that. Just talk about your game and what you were able to do. Um, of course, Bill, you know, said some crazy stuff, but nah, he was just, um, he's been on me since I've got here and just saying be aggressive and go out there and score and, and play your game and I thought that I did that tonight. Now, um, I guess, do you have any plans with the, I guess, a little bit of a break that is just resting up the body? Oh, uh, no, I'm just going to go home and, uh, you know, rest. You know, of course, I'm going to get in the gym and stay conditioned and work on my shot and some other things, but just enjoy my family and enjoy and read my new book. Yeah, now talk a little bit about your book. I saw something about that. Is that going to be out soon? Um, soon. I'm still working on. I got a little more things to tweak within it, but it's called A Bittersweet Life Overcoming the Odds, and it's just about my life and the robots I stumbled upon doing a journey to the WNBA. Awesome. And then our uh, coach was saying that it's going to be a big West Coast stretch coming up after the break. Um, what do you think the team could do to keep the momentum going? Um, get some rest on all star break and you know, when Monday come, we'll get ready. Um, we just stayed uh, really poised out there. You know, weeks ago we wouldn't have won this game. We just stayed collective. I, we were up by 10. We let them back in the game. We shouldn't have. But, you know, basketball's a game of runs. They went on their run. And we were able to still um, close it out. So I'm happy. The first half, it seemed that the bench really sparked you. Oh, yeah. Played really well. Uh, when that played pretty well. Yeah. Got you guys going when you and Kappa were being double. Yeah, teams. especially, um, you know, in all the games that we've won, I want to say most of them, you know, when we have multiple people in a double digit scoring, we're usually going to come out with a victory, you know. So um, if we could have that consistently and if they put pressure on themselves to do that all the time, we should be fine. Okay. You excited to go to Phoenix this weekend? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the camaraderie with the girls, you know people that I usually don't get to hang out with or get to know, so I'm looking forward to that. Never gets old, I assume. No, no, I'm definitely humbled. You know, this can all be gone in a second. Anything can happen, so I definitely appreciate, you know, everything that, I, that I'm that i able to accomplish. The crowd today is pretty spirited with all the kids there. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. Going, have the energy. Yeah, they did a great job. You know, just them understanding the game, you know, knowing when to get loud, you know, knowing when we're shooting a free throw to be quiet. So I was really, I was really proud of them. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, team. No problem. Talk about the fight in the fourth quarter. There it seems to be really a battle between both teams. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about that battle and being able to get that last, you know, that last victory. Yeah. Um, you know, we weren't, you know, thinking about All Star Weekend yet. You know, we wanted to make sure we we got the victory. So I'm really proud of our focus, how we came out. You know, at one point we were up by 10, and that's really big for us. So um, I'm just happy we came out with the victory. Coach was saying now it's going to be a big West Coast stretch after uh, you return from the All-Star mm -hmm. or after you return from the yeah. All-Star game. Just talk about that. Yeah, it's going to be really big. You know, we play in L.A., then we got them on a back-to-back -back with Seattle. So, you know, we just got to come with the mindset that we have to win. You know, we're still close. We're still in the race. You know, I think we're tied with Chicago being 8-13. and 13. So, I think we, we still have an opportunity. You know, after battling, you know, Atlanta, which is a great team, they have a lot of weapons, a lot of physical players. A lot of players that can do a lot of things, um, you know, to come out with a victory, even though it was a last second shot to keep us out of overtime and win the game in regulation, it just feels good, you know, to go into the break on a high with a little bit of confidence when we've been down, it's just always a great thing. Coach was saying that uh, he feels like you're becoming a leader and that your physicality is starting to rub off on your teammates. What does that mean for you and uh, what do you think that means for the rest of the team? Um, I take pride in my role. I take pride in, in the physical nature that I play with. Um, and, you know, I just try to employ my teammates to be as physical as I am because when you're when you're very physical, players have a, diff a difficult time playing against you. They're trying to figure out how not to get hit or how not to get hit as hard and f focus on hitting you more than they're focusing on their game. And when you take players out of their game, it makes it easier for us. You think that the aggressive, I guess, mentality that you bring to the court is something that is infectious and could, you know, maybe uh, spread to the rest of the team? I definitely think the, the aggressive mentality is, is is contagious for this team. Um, as you can see down the stretch, we got a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more aggressive when the when the clock was winding down. And I think that's what we need to be from beginning to end.
Talk about the defense, because I know the fourth quarter, the dream was making a bit of a run between the third and fourth quarters, but the defense between you and everybody else really stepped, stepped up and was able to get them shut down. I'll talk a little bit about that. And well, we're trying to become that defensive team that's going to be consistent with our defensive game. And, you know, tonight we really buckled down. and We knew they were going to make shots, but we wanted them to have tough shots. And when they started making that run in the fourth quarter, we just really relied on our defense. Everyone was fine-tuning their defense. Everyone was helping where they needed to help. And, and boxing out because that's really the end of the defensive possession is to box out and get the rebound. So I think that's what we did in the in the fourth quarter when they made their run and it made it really hard for them. Talking about boxing out, um, people seem not to appreciate sometimes that end of the defensive aspect. I mean, that, that's really sort of a big part to the defensive end of basketball is making sure you box that other person out and get the basketball, right? That's a very important part uh, of the defensive possession. To end the defensive possession with a, a box out and a rebound, it, it just sends your momentum in a different direction as opposed to finishing it with the other team getting the offensive rebound. Then you have to play 24 more seconds of defense. Um, so it's very uh, a very pertinent part of the game. Now, um, after the All-Star break uh, for you all, I know Cappy and Tina will be playing hopefully, but for you all maybe a little bit of a break um, aside from training and stuff. Uh, there's going to be a bit of a West Coast stretch. Uh, what do you think you and the team could do to keep the positive momentum going and keep the bike going? You know, when we come back from this All-Star break, we just all need to take a mental break and just, you know, relax our minds and refocus. Um, that's going to be the important thing going into the second half. we got a tough stretch coming up with that West Coast swing right after All-Star. But, you know what, anything's possible. If we come back and we're enthused and we're all focused and in tune and have taken care of our bodies off the break, during the break, um, we'll be able to do anything on that West Coast trip. It was a great game. Um, I'm glad that we were able to win. Um, you know, we played a great, solid 40-minute game. Obviously, we had a, a stretch where we wasn't able to score. We turned the ball over and kind of let them back in the game. But I thought overall we prevailed um, with our heads mentally. Um, we. We got stops when we needed to, and uh, we executed when we needed to for the most part. That fourth quarter, um, between the third and fourth quarter, the Dream was really fighting, and they were getting those essential buckets, but you guys you know, got back and got eventually the win. Just talk about that and being able to get that uh, victory at the end. Uh, there's something we, we can uh, grow at because, I mean, obviously the coach, he, he made a comment about us five weeks ago and not being able to win that game, and um, it just shows you our growth um, and, you know, just how much we really want to win today. Um, you know, when you're at home and you're in a crowd, uh, you know, a crowd of 17,000, it, it feels good to get the win for them. So um, I'm, I'm thankful that we we're able to do that, um, and now we can enjoy our weekend with a win. Now talk about the crowd a little bit today. How special was that for you and the team to hear that energy? Uh, it feels good. You know, kids they don't never stop. You know, win or lose, obviously they don't they don't really know. But just to be able to win for them, so they can have something to really cheer loud for, is is a great feeling and um, it's a special day for them. And I'm glad. You know, even though it's early and it, it's hard for us professional athletes to kind of get up early and out of our normal uh, schedule, but it's for the kids. So we, obviously we we have to do it. It's our job and, and we really enjoy it. I guess, um, what can you do, I guess, to not only rest up your mind and your body with the all-star break, and, but continue to play well, because I know you want to represent the Liberty being a starter, so what can you do to balance not only playing your game, but also getting a bit of rest? Oh, and... uh, well, the good thing about this, the all-star weekend, is just you have so many other great players around you. Um, you can, it's a relaxed atmosphere. It's not like, you know, a, a claw fight. Per se, obviously you want to have bragging rights if you win or lose West versus East, but you know it's not it's not strenuous. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a great atmosphere, and obviously I'm going to take full advantage of that. Um, I have a house there, so I'm going to rest up, um, enjoy just being back in Phoenix, um, and not think about basketball too much, um, but just the opportunity to represent the Liberty, and enjoy my home, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Awesome, and now uh, just talk about Coach was saying a big West Coast stretch up this. Just yes. talk a little bit about that and what you think the team could do. Um, it's important for us to kind of um, really focus in on this West Coast trip because, you know, obviously they're not in our conference, but to have wins against the team, it, it, it helps our schedule or our uh, <clears throat> positioning in um, the Eastern Conference. Um, the more wins, the better. Uh, obviously, everybody knows there's going to be a dog fight in the stretch right now, and we really want want to make the playoffs and we have to continue to fight to, to do it and, and it starts in LA um, so we're gonna go there a day early rest up and just have just have our minds ready uh, for this game we owe them actually they came here and beat us and um, you know we, we owe them one